the story in that I would never enter that that is I'm not going anywhere near that building at any point like the wind might gust above five miles an hour and it's coming down so let's take a look at 50 creepy things from all 50 states every single place I guess in the US has a creepy spooky thing and that's kind of surprising to me because like how do some of these places have scary stuff like I can't imagine Hawaii being all that scary it seems Pretty chill, to be honest. Again, just like last time, in the 50 weirdest things from all 50 states, I'm gonna rank them. I'm gonna make sure I do like a little tier list, which parts I think are the scariest, but don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below. This is only one opinion. There might be a creepier thing that you can mention in the comment section down below that you think your state should be known for instead. Uh, also, don't forget, subscribe, colonize that subscribe and, and like button. It helps to colonize both, be like just the British, take, take it both. Okay, Alabama slosh furnace opened from 1882 to 1971. It was the world's largest pig iron. What is that? This achievement came at a cost. What is a pig iron? Oh, they took dangerous risks to speed up production. 47 workers. Oh, whoa. Okay. And, and, and the guy died. Oh, they're by falling into a pool of molten steel. That's terrifying. I like the look of it though. Like I would love to sneak in there at night and get a possibly a trespassing ticket, but that's fine. Honestly, that sounded pretty creepy. Like it actually has the history there and all the other things. I like the look of it too. This is going to be at the top of our list. Alaska Red Onion Saloon. And uh, this is a hundred, of course, it's always from like the 19th century, I swear. It's said to be one haunted by one woman who worked there known as Lydia. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not actually that freaky. It's not like they're just a lot of reports. Come on, Alaska. Y'all, y'all don't got like some scary uh, wolves, chupacabras up there. Yeah. It's going to be a no from me, dog. No. Yeah. Try again next time. Yuma Territorial Prison. So we have uh, more than whoa whoa the oh thieves and criminals i thought it was just that i was gonna say oh and you can actually go in there oh they got the old style oh i just i want to go in there like just for that like to be like a medieval uh slave i don't know what i'm talking about arkansas arkansas definitely pronounce arkansas so we have the crest i don't i don't know some sort of hotel hotels are automatically creepy as hell it closed 1930s due to tough economic times ha that that's Funny, uh, yeah, one could say tough, right? It, it was pretty tough. One would say it's depressing. Common ghost sightings included Theodora, Theodora, the old school chick from uh, Byzantium. I don't know if what's going on, but uh, a lot of reports, room 419, of course, some, some weird number like that. Of course, of course. I don't know what else I expected. Maybe Alcatraz, but uh, yeah, I've actually been here before. It's carried some of the world's most prominent people like Winston Churchill. To Clark Gable. Yeah, they actually have like a little Halloween event every every year here. It's it's pretty fun and creepy. I will say on the inside is creepy. I might be a little bit biased, but I'm gonna rank that a little bit higher than yeah. Arizona did good because it's a prison. So you gotta have a cool location. That's that's the key. You know, you can't just have some haunted house. That's that's not enough. Oh, the Stanley Hotel listed in National Register's historical places. A century old Stanley Hotel, of course. There it is. I've always referenced it, and uh, this actually does not even... I don't know what the hell... They, they must have, like, changed this thing up. Don't... I don't remember this from the movie. Oh, look at this thing! Okay, that automatically... I'm freaking out by this picture. It was once home to uh, Arthur Mark Twain and uh, and his family. And it, yeah, it's got that old-school feel, I guess. Ah, they're educational and also goosebump-inducing. Great combination. What? I've never heard of a haunted fort before. Delaware, that's unique. Set on uh, Pea Patch Island. Served as a Union prison camp. Oh, it's a prison camp. During, oh yeah, that would have a lot of haunted stuff, I would imagine. Housing 12,000 Confederate pr prisoners. Oh, oh yeah, that place definitely got some crazy stuff going on there. The spirits, they're, they're rising. They were taking prisoners all the way up here? Seems kind of like a, well, it's not that that far but okay oh yeah a lighthouse that's perfect a lighthouse is wait is it on its own little island though is it said to be haunted by several former keepers and their family is every lighthouse haunted ever pretty sure that it is oh people are drowning out here yeah that's how you know good that's good good backstory i mean not okay their laughter can supposedly be heard at the top at the top oh that's oh that's awesome and then there's of course tours so many good like halloween attractions and you know this place must be real scary in order to scare natural residents of Florida when they can just go outside and see some crazy shit. Crackheads eating faces and rednecks doing burnouts in the Walmart parking lot. Doesn't get any scarier than that. Pretty normal stuff here. Pretty normal, of course. That cemetery's, yeah, best-selling novel, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Interesting. Savannah, Georgia's hauntingly 
Beautiful. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of trees. Oh, those trees look weird. Oh, they got like holes in them. Hawaii Plantation Village. Okay, let's see what this is all about because this needs to be like kind of freaky. Reconstructs life of Hawaii sugar plantations. Oh, uh, I keep hearing this ghostly young girls. People hear a choking ghost. Okay, that's... Uh, odd. Oh, it is transformed into a Halloween attraction. That's kind of nice. Still though, I mean, compared to some of these other things on the list, kind of down there. See, I, I feel like you got to be like unique in your location. Like it's got to be a little different. Can't can't just be the normal scary ha places. I almost said houses again. I, I already said that. Of course, another penitentiary. Maybe that's why they didn't put Alcatraz in California because they already got a bunch of these. It's in Boise and was built in 1800s. Uh, anything interesting? Uh, oh wow, there's someone known as Idaho's Jack the Ripper. Is there a Florida Jack the Ripper? Ripper? A Canadian Jack the Ripper? That would be a nice one, maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh, is this based off? This looks automatically like a Disney, like the Disney ride thing. Was it based off this, Illinois? Some believe it, the haunts date back to before the house was built. Of course, Native American goat. Yeah, that whole thing. One of the most haunted small towns in America. I've never heard that before. Oh, and there you go, once again. The Story Inn. That... I would never enter that. That is, I'm not going anywhere near that building at any point. Like the wind might gust above five miles an hour and it's coming down. It's always during the Great Depression. Always. And then uh, it was restored. Who restored it? Doesn't look restored. Oh, the axe. How, oh, wait. I heard, wait, is this, what is this from? It looks like a lot of uh, famous horror movies, films might be based off of these locations. Oh, look at that. Oh, six members of the Moore family as well as two overnight guests. All by one person. That's eight people. Who was taking out eight people? People. We still got a while to go, but if I had to take a guess, I would imagine more of the scary stuff would be over here. It's just older. I thought older stuff keeps the, the spirits more, but I mean, this is still looking okay. West Coast. Kansas Saley House, once the home and office of a physician. Uh, okay, said to be haunted by a six-year-old girl. Six-year-olds are pretty terrifying, honestly, especially the Fortnite ones. Doesn't seem that crazy, but it is a house. Okay, Kansas. Whoa, that place is massive. What? What is that? Thousands of uh, tuberculosis patients. Why? Why is that? Why so specific? Honestly, that is cool. Look how massive it is. That would be, I mean, just the picture alone, I'm, I'm kind of gonna pee. Oh, you know Louisiana's seen some stuff. You know it too. Oh, and the fact that it looks nice, that see, you know, when they look just scary, it's gotta look like inviting. That way, once you get inside, boom, closes you up. Oh, we got a main, a main cemetery. Oh, and it's, oh, I see. May look familiar to fans. Pet Cemetery, there it is. I'm just imagining the Ramon song right now. Yep, Maryland, oh yeah, 22,000 soldiers. It went down, wait, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that, of course, that makes sense. Oh, that makes me think, so that's where a lot of these haunted places are coming from, understandably. You know Virginia's probably gonna have something like that and uh, just kind of all around. Surprised we haven't seen any colonial stuff. Maybe when we get to like more New England, we'll see, I don't know, evil redcoats haunting zombie redcoats. Whoa, little girl. Out here uh, taking out her parents. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when they when they stop you. Stop you from the Fortnite. Oh, she was acquitted. Oh, there you go. Oh, they got an island. And uh, mag major battles, of course. Oh, haunted Canadians. So we do have some haunted redcoats, possibly some Canadians. That's scary. Coming for your syrup and hockey and mooses. They're ride mooses, zombie mooses. Nope, nope, I'm done. I'm noping out of that. Street Caves, Minnesota. No, and apparently they haven't found someone got vanished in there. I'm not no. I'm, I'm cool I'm out. I'm not going to that one See this house looks way too like kind of tiny and organized to be scary Like I feel like your house has got to be like a maze to really creep creep me out Oh See I you know, I'm probably judging a little bit too based off of like how good the pictures are but <laughs> Missouri got a limp. What's a limp mansion? Dang. Well, that's just a cool. That's a cool picture that's, I can't help it's gonna affect my opinion a little Montana ghost town. They got a entire ghost town over here. Hey, wait, I know about it. There's a lot of ghost towns. Surprise this is the first ghost town so far. Historic ghost town was once the site of thriving boom town. Yeah, kind of weird. This is the first one we've seen so far. And actually, that looks like it's been kind of kept to looking good. Oh, look at the mountains. Oh, it's beautiful. Nebraska State Capitol building. Why is that spooky? Um, one involving Christmas lights that once that, that is, this is automatically really unique. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't look creepy, but I, I like that. I like that it's just a normal building. Nevada got a, a hotel. Wait, have it been here before? Some lady in red, I guess. What What is this like the third, fourth hotel? I like the, the arched Dutch angle here. 
sideways, making it all slanty. Mount Washington Hotel in New Hampshire. Oh, that's that's also really nice. Room 314. Is everyone keeping track of these numbers? How many different uh, room numbers are, are haunted? Just to write them down. I don't want to stay in those rooms when I, I gotta go places. We still missing some big ones, and I can only imagine. Texas, you better you better come at it. You better come at it hard, because I, I gotta think that there's something weird here. Oh, that already, I like this one. I just like that look. No, thank you. Some like forest thing? I'm good. Curse 13th child of a woman known as Mother Leads, according to legend, baby. Okay, so there's just a creepy forest, and I'm good. I don't think so. Like underground roads and forests, I'm not there. I would like to go to some of these other places, though. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, Roswell. Of course, Roswell. I'm like, wait. <laughs> we. I'm like seeing accurate images so far, and then all of a sudden I see like a real ass alien. I was actually like legit like, hey, we did discover alien. It's proof. This is obviously proof. The travel website is telling us so. Gotta admit, this is probably like my favorite because I like this story. Uh, Yeah, this is big because, yeah, discovered strange debris in his sheep pasture about 75 miles outside of Roswell. Many still believe it was uh, alien spacecraft, things like that. New Mexico. I thought uh, Nevada would have something like this too though. How is Area 51 not considered haunted? New York has an asylum. Is this the first asylum? No, they, they were all like partially asylum. Um, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of people, bodies hanging around. Cool. We got an estate. Estates are always creepy. When you call something an estate, you're just asking for it to be like the spirits to just come on in. Fort Abraham Lincoln. There's I had no idea that was actually a fort. And it was in North Dakota too. I think Roswell is my favorite so far. I mean, aliens might not scare some people. They scare me though. Cause you know, like monsters ain't real, but aliens for they they probably real. I'm just I'm just saying. They could be out there right now getting ready to probe you. Ohio State, uh Riff Riff. I, I'm yeah, I know what that is. I'm just gonna oh, it's located by the filming location of Shawshank Redemption Is this a part of Ohio State University? It's just like right next to it. Oh, they got a lot of things going on Oh, there's a bunch of like uh, must-see spots. R wow nice place for the whole family Oklahoma Stone Line Inn was built uh, Here see uh, like I get like I said remember just l let me know down below if there's a ha more haunted place I'm sure everyone's got like haunted places in their city too, which yeah I mean that's definitely I don't know why that came up just right now, but yeah, I'm just I, I just remember to say that but yeah, okay okay we got another lighthouse in Oregon this time see how old could these things be well I guess it's pretty old so 1890s guests reported the scent of flowers or rose perfume out of the blue and seen an imprint oh that'd be kind of creepy like imagine getting afraid of flowers Pennsylvania once again another pen uh, penitentiary even real real old though oh held many notorious criminals like uh, Al Capone oh look how beautiful that is that, that looks like a ship actually this, this is a city hall though longest standing and most beloved mayor Oh, it's haunted by a mayor. That might be chill. We could talk to him about like like parking fines. Maybe bring that down a little bit. Dock Street Theater. Oh, look at that. That's a cool. That's a cool photo. And it's old since 1735. Whoa. One of the ghosts is the spirit of famous actor. Oh, father of. Jo oh. And we just talked about uh, Lincoln too, not that long ago. Like they're battling for haunted spots now. Oh, the second nameless ghost is a. Whoa. That's. Hmm. I. You know what? That I'm okay with that. That's probably a part of some sick uh, fantasies uh, for many people. I, you know what, I don't want to get into that. Historic Bullock Hotel from South Dakota. Does Sandra Bullock like uh, haunt it? That, that would be not not fun. I don't even know if that's spelled the right way. It, I think it's spelled the right, right? Betsy Bell, queen of the haunted Dell. And this is a Bell Witch Cave in Tennessee. It's a cave that is said to be especially haunted. What cave is not haunted though? Oh, that's so weird. His family was possibly tormented by uh, a witch for years for years. That's the key thing because imagine you just chill it like most of these things like the monster is gonna take you out like pretty quickly But if if they're just haunting you for like your whole life, that's like way more creepy to me Look at that face too. Mm. Here we go, Texas finally queen of the Gulf So uh, it opened in 1911 this hotel's rich history is laden with mystery and most notably the tale of love lorn lady Guests uh, have reported experiencing cold breezes. Wow. This is not scary at all I thought this was way better. Why can't it what, is the Alamo not haunted? Uh, Another hotel, Asylum 49. See, just the font right here is like, oh man, that's they're ready for a horror movie. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's it has a haunted attraction with full contact. Visitors can be touched, grabbed, or even carried off into another room by cast members. Oh, that is that's my thing. Honestly, it don't even sound that haunted at all, but just for that attraction, like I'm down. I want to go. Gotta admit though, very disappointed, Texas. Come on, y'all have a big old state. I thought there's gotta be something in there more creepy. The Peyton Randolph house is one of the oldest homes in Williamsburg. I like how it's all red, even the red door. Although, yeah, red doors automatically, boom, you're just asking for it. A bridge? That's kind of cool to see like a haunted bridge. Visitors to the bridge have reported several strange occurrences 
occurrences, including seeing scratch marks along the vehicles. That's something I've never even heard about. That's props for just some weird, I don't know, conspiracy? I don't know what the right word is. Yeah, like I said, I just like that it's a bridge. Like, how, how, you've never seen a movie with the haunted bridge, have you? Another asylum, this is like our fourth asylum. Clearly asylums and hotels, like don't be building those. Oh wow, there was uh, nearly 2,400 residents living in horrible overcrowded conditions, fun. Oh, and they answered with no signs of mental illness. What is this asylum all about then? Probably why it's haunted, obviously. Fister, the Fister, uh, I don't, wait. Okay, fort in Wyoming. Never thought about forts being scary, but I, apparently that's kind of a thing. There's, I guess, a ghost, a cavalry officer, which sometimes tells visitors to be quiet. Honestly, that's a benefit right there. Sometimes people are just too loud. Just for the ghost telling people to shut up. Wait, I don't know if I said this one. So one of only three Victorian seaports in the US, this is Washington. It's known for having several places that are haunted, including a castle. Oh, cool. I always like when it's a whole town, cause like there's lots to see, lots of places for them to get you. Anyways, here's my list. Here's my ranking. Pretty, uh, pretty good stuff, obviously. Some of the outer uh, tiers didn't make it that well. I feel like these are pretty good though. Like I, I like a lot of them, some scarier than others. Actually, I thought we'd see a lot more over here. Again, that'd be creepy, but uh, I don't know. Clearly you gotta have some sort of battle though. That's like number one, gotta have a battle or have, well for me personally, I just like aliens. Yeah, I would, I should probably just rank this. This got my favorite one was Roswell. So no question a lot of a lot of fun things over there anyways thanks for watching let me know down below if you have any other possible suggestions thought i, I there's a couple of other uh, ideas i'd like to do and then and then there's obviously like the worlds that i could do but i haven't found something that talks about every single country's haunted that'd be like a 200 that'd be like 200 things though that i don't know if that is even possible anyways thanks for watching see you next time and thanks again to seth l ballin like stall mega fat boy 2.0 tyler beach a mikey polofsky three cruise all night birthday daddy sleeper 56 Millitime. brandon h cooter donkey pizza maxi g swiss argo booster elijah senpai and lpc